But like smoking bans are spreading and so is the demand to stop smoking. For some, a new product might be the answer. Or is it? Channel 8 medical reporter Janet St. James takes a closer look. This isn't what it looks like. That wispy plume is really a harmless vapor and the cigarette is fake. And with this device you can actually enjoy smoking without the bad parts of the cigarette. There is no tar, there is no tobacco, no bad chemicals that can uh, cost you for a uh, cancer. Ohad Naim is franchise operator of Smoking Everywhere, a battery operated electronic cigarette getting a lot of attention at Grapevine Mills Mall and on the internet. It's been available for years in Europe. Fact, Smoking Everywhere electronic cigarette is the healthier way to smoke. The e-cigarette is marketed as a safer way to smoke or even quit smoking. No one can tell you no anymore. Due to having no tobacco or open flame, the smoking... Because it isn't real, it enables smoking everywhere, getting around public smoking bans. The device gives a jolt of nicotine with every drag, satisfying the addiction, or perhaps creating one. Looks like a cigarette. We showed this provocative product to Presbyterian Dallas pulmonologist Gary Weinstein, who treats smokers. He gave us a surprising response. This nicotine is very similar to caffeine. It's a stimulant. Uh, it's very addicting, uh, like caffeine. But nicotine by itself is not a terrible thing. In fact, nicotine gum and patches have been used for years to help kick the habit. But this product is different in that it gives an authentic feel of smoking without exposing anyone else to secondhand smoke. This one is actually an apple. That's right, the e-cigarette comes in several fun flavors, including cherry, chocolate, and mint. And that's where Dr. Weinstein says this product can be potentially dangerous. Flavors like that is not for smokers, that's for people who want to play with it and, uh, and for kids. Dr. Weinstein points out the cool design, slick marketing, and addictive nicotine filters could easily get a young person to try it and then get hooked. And you don't think that the flavors are appealing to teenagers? No, we don't sell it for uh, people under the age of 18, so they cannot use it. Teenagers we spoke with say the $150 price tag is a bit steep, but Ernest Oviedo, who started smoking as a teen, bought one. I want to quit smoking. I, I like smoking, but I know it's bad, so I just want to give it a try. But addiction experts caution anyone not currently addicted to nicotine shouldn't. Janet St. James, Channel 8 News.